My name is Bob Sidler, and at present I live at Athelston 5076. I was born on the second to last day of 1934, and we lived around about, and I have vague, if any, memories of that. But before I was two years old, we lived to move to a house in Constant Street, Lockleys. <coughs> And it was a large house. It had several rooms, I'd say something like 10. It had a red roof and a veranda that surrounded the house on three sides. A good story about that veranda wall. When I was three, we had a stray dog come into our house and he stayed with us until I was 13 and he was very sick and had to be put down. But he would stand on the veranda wall around the time that I'd be coming home from school. He wanted to meet me and he would then come to meet me. He was a, a very good friend. The house was large, as I said. The only running water we had in the house was in the bathroom. So if we needed to fill a kettle, we'd take it to the bathroom and fill it up. And if we needed to wash the dishes, I think think we took in a large uh, stew pot and would fill that up so we could wash the dishes. We had a wood fire, a wood stove, and we cooked on that. And during the war years, we three, because my father was away in the army, but my mother, my brother and myself, we would sit around the fire and read. And we'd also listen to radio serials. Okay. The backyard from when I was small seemed to be very, very, very big, but in fact it wasn't. It was just because I was so small. We had a peach tree, an apricot tree, and a grape tree. Grape tree, grape vine. And we had an outside wash house and a copper. And the copper was used for boiling the clothes up, of course, but my father would make Christmas cakes, which he, sorry, uh, puddings, which he would warm cook in the, this large copper. Okay, so we also had some chooks, they were bantam chooks, and I have very many good memories of that, and I stayed there until I was 25 when I left to go to Theological College in Melbourne. So thank you very much. <laughs>